Happy New Year, my cakes. Sarahs, welcome, welcome to 2024. Listen, all that you plan to achieve, just create the vision board, put in the work, and most importantly, put God first. So let's make a toast to an immaculate 2024 where we'll achieve all our goals, our dreams, our aspirations, and everything that we want to achieve in 2024. So if you want to travel more, if you want to make more money, if you want to get that brand deal, girl, let's make a toast. So I'll give you like two seconds to run go for a bottle of wine. Because as a cake stir, you must always have a wine in your house. Yeah. So I'll give you a two seconds for run go for a bottle and pour your wine. Yeah, two seconds up. So let's make a toast. God, big us up for God in a 2024. As you guys seen the title, this will be a detailed video about how to become a paid big influencer in 2024. When I talk about the Amazon review, a girl is them big on up though, because you know everybody has to start out that we're there. But we're talking about a paid Amazon review. When I talk about the $50 Quoket vibes, none of that. So remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all socials at underscore camera or underscore and hit that subscribe button. Yes, we know that we didn't reach the goal that we wanted to reach for December, but honestly, I didn't upload any videos, so I can't even fuss about it. But for 2024, we'll achieve all the goals because we will put it in the work and put in God first. So stay tuned to the rest of the video, and I hope that you guys love this. So let's go. You guys know so wanting to see the settings on the notes say yeah. Your phone got in our hand because I'm spilling the gems, I'm spilling the tea. I went ahead and wrote down all I need for this video. There's more, of course, but we're going to start off with what apps and what you need to become an Amazon wig reviewer. Because I find that it's easier to transition from an Amazon wig reviewer to a paid big influencer. Get it? Get it. So as the name suggests, Amazon. So you need an Amazon profile. It doesn't need to be prime because honestly speaking, they're not really rushing you for a turnaround time for the week and you can review the week before it reach and just do a written review before you add the pictures when you get the package. Hope you guys understand that. You need an Amazon account and if you have ever done done week review before you know that you need a PayPal. So what I'd recommend for the girlies is to get a VPN that lets you have a US account. Because when you have a US PayPal, you're able to get a PayPal card. And with the PayPal card, you can just go ahead, add it to your Amazon. And you just always make purchase from that PayPal. So instead of waiting for you to transfer it to your bank account, whether local or US, you don't have to wait that period. That's what I'm showing you right now, but I'm going to fix it for 2024. So you need an Amazon account. doesn't need to be Prime. You need a PayPal account. Highly recommend getting a US PayPal account because it has more features and you can get a PayPal card. So you got those. They more than likely will text you and be like, Hi dear, I have a 13 by 14 lace frontal wig for free in exchange for a five star review. You go ahead, you let them know that yes, I'm interested. My policy is all if it's your first time doing it. You have to fake it till you make it. So you're going to say, my policy is half after order is placed and half after review is live. Because let's say it's your first time doing all of this. I highly recommend investing 200 USD. When I say 200 USD is not, is not ideal for everyone because that is like about 35,000 JMD there about. I'm going to put a correction if I, on the screen if I'm wrong. But that's not something somebody else gets up on this throat. So you get me? But I highly recommend using 200 hours. So when you purchase the wig, yeah, wigs varies. And like we just us now, they cannot choose a 150 dollars wig. Can you know, say the money now go flip as quickly? So you can probably take a $60 wig. So you know that you're going to be funny about $30. And you flip it. You always flip it. You always flip, flip, flip it. You make that $200 work for you. And then when you look, you get back your $200 and using the excess of what they had sent to you prior. Understand? Understand. Teacher Kim here checking in. Make sure say actually I write on this and use the information. All right. All right. All right. So I recommend investing 200 USD in doing this. Um, they reach out to you, you place the order, you tell them your policy, of course. Some of them are going to tell you no, some will tell you yes. But if you tell me no, 
I just proceed because you're just not my supplier or the person that I should be in dialogue with because if my policy doesn't work for you because I'm meeting you halfway, remember? This is a business for them and this is a business for you. You're meeting them halfway, they probably be like, their people have cheated us in the past, I cannot do it that way. You say, well, I've been cheated in the past as well, so I don't want to do full full refund after review is live. Tell them no. If them no more work with that, you just move along and go to somebody else because your person will definitely come. Okay, you went ahead, you placed the order on Amazon. It's cheap, you get back a $50. And that $50, let's say the week is $100, that $50 will be sent straight back to your PayPal. So your PayPal is what you're going to go ahead and get it sent to. Because for them, it's the only way that they can request a refund if you scam them. Get it? And you can also request a refund if them take back the money as well. Fine, fine. Not the wig now in Jamaica. We also have a little custom suite and I always tell persons I highly recommend Post Global. I've only been charged once for a wig and that was a wig from DH, DHL. They use DHL. So once one company uses DHL, send you a wig, baby. That wig is over $300. Because they only use DHL for expensive wigs. So them do not say the wig there, so them charge me. But other than that, Amazon, most I pay for an Amazon wig is $800 for two. So I'm going to put them on the screen and on the description box and you guys can go ahead and sign up with them for getting your wigs in Jamaica. Anyways, you get the wig now, you have to create the content of course. Because if you're pretty level sweet, they gave you a free wig. They don't care whether you do the wig after. They don't care if they sell the wig. They don't care if you put the wig for your head and do more videos so persons can reach out to you. They just want to know that you gave them their five star review on Amazon. So you're going to go on their product link right here. All of normally I write the wig is soft, it doesn't shed, it looks very beautiful. It's the if it's bundles, I say that it's full, it gives me a nice install. And please, if you're not said the wig shed, don't write said the wig not shed because that's misleading. And me know what I mean, go buy a wig and you are telling me, say, oh, the wig not shed, I'm gonna come every single strand of the air shed. Just be honest, if it's not there, if it's something that's negative, you just don't put it in the review. You just put what you like about the wig and you upload a five picture so you can take a picture of the wig where I can insert that picture here where you just hold up the wig, make people can see the wig and then I necessarily have to put it on for the reviews. I make it very clear to them, I do not put on wigs for reviews because as you guys know, I resell wigs on my Instagram that is linked down in the description box. I'll be having a huge sale January month 10 so you guys can definitely check it out. What I'd advise you to do is, if you don't know if you install a wig, go to somebody who install a wig. Remember now, money I make. Money I want to make. So you have to spend money for make money. I don't care who tell you, say, oh, you can make money off just spending zero dollars. No booby. To make good money, you have to spend money. So you go and install a wig, you do a little wig, wig inside it. Tell the person where you go to say, hey, I have to require my content. Is it okay for me to require? They require, show the hair, and make them know say, hey, I really love the quality. They get a little story time, it bring traction to your page. What happens after that is that the the wig sellers, they automatically see your content because it's being pushed more on the For You page. And if you do realize it's mostly black persons, because we're the only one that wear wig. So once they're there, they're, they're, Post the video, and you're like, okay, I really love this hair. I hey guys, my muscle about the time very, very, very happened to me. The numbers will automatically drag other wig sellers because I posted that video with a study here where I told them that hey, my hair just I can't support me. And that video is now at 100k views, and I've been getting non stop collaborations just from that one video. And that's literally like my first install of a week on my TikTok. So imagine if me did that wig right throughout the year, me not been I get paid collabs. So you go ahead, you install the wig, you make them know that, hey, okay, this is what I like about the hair. You show the hair dainty. If you're skilled and you can install it on a wig or you want to be a big, you know, process for you where you don't have the money for go to the just so you know, so and put it on yourself and start a series, say, hey guys, you know, I want to become a big influencer, but I don't know how to put on wigs, but this is my first try. Tell me how I do. It builds engagement and people feel as if they're growing with you because a lot of persons who want to become a wig influencer in the North install wigs and they like the process where it's 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 what what word again candid. So it's like they feel as if they're along the journey with you of you learning how to do your wigs. 
So you can do that because once you get the free wig, anything we want with the wig, then the care. You can sell it, you can create content for me. More partnerships with other wig companies. So you choose your poison. For me, I mostly sell the wigs because we don't truly we don't put our wig, you know. I mean it's not a wig girl because when I put on my wig the other day, everybody was like, Kim, what happened? I'm mostly wearing locks. But for 2024, we're changing that. We're going to get in our wig bag. So once you watch this video, you know, so we're going to get in a wig bag. So that's it for, you know, guys, the Amazon wig review. Now we're going to go on the part that everybody been a asked for, paid wig influencer. The other word, paid wig influencer. So most persons are Amazon reviewers and I'm not gonna knock anybody hustle because we'll have to start out this so because when I took up my own money by a week for poop on my page because people say so I can install wig or I can do wig or I want to be a wig influencer. Start off with the easiest route which is an Amazon wig reviewer. Okay, some of these persons on Amazon, they would even email you when you tick tock the numbers and numbers don't necessarily mean 100k per year. Once into the like a 10k, the like a 1k, them just want to know that it's being seen in people's eyes because them can't promote the wig. So once them give you the wig and then when I say, yo, the wig is being seen by even 500, 1000, 100k people, they appreciate that because they will get sales. Don't believe so them not get no sales. You realize that, uh, I think it's Love Me Here, they have a bunch of <laughs> wig influencers every day. See somebody with Love Me Here and uh, is it Naluda and Nalda? A, the one A and D U L A here, them, them always have big influencers. I'm waiting in the lab because I'm more always constantly be in people's face. So then my care if I get the numbers, then that's why I know they as a push out the content if they get on my say. So with that, some of them would DM you and be like, hey, um, this is a paid collaboration. Could you tell us your rates? I do not normally disclose my rates. I ask them what's their budget for the campaign because here why you not disclose your rate? What if them you don't have in mind for pay five bills? They go say my rate is three hundred dollars. I lose two bills. So I ask them, hey, what's your budget for this campaign? The man go tell you what them budget for the campaign. And you can either win or either lose. But if you have to tell you no, get a business email and put that in your bio. It's a business email, I put that in your bio. So, like your junks, because my personal email, I get Twerberch, I get my calculus, I get Amazon, I get everything sent to that email. So, to avoid it being too full, I get a business email. They are a company, Brawling, them email and they're like, oh, paid collaboration, we want. Two TikToks and four Instagram pictures. And most importantly, we need your link in your bio to Orbit. For $50. <laughs> Is it crack? Is it crack cocaine? Crazy. Fifty dollar. I look like wicked. My must look like I'm wicked. Fifty dollar for two week, two TikTok video, and uh, four Instagram posts, and then I want my link in my bio for easy access for you get money and me get fifty dollar. Listen, I remember growing up and watching TikTok. Persons usually do this to pay bills. Yeah, people use use one week video. For pay them rent. And you go look for me and give me fifty dollar. So remember, know your worth. Know your worth so much. Because if you watch the bigger girlies in there, obviously we're not like the bigger girls, but you watch the bigger girlies. I'm telling you so sometimes I'm get paid a thousand dollars for just one week one week video. Me believes that once you're under ten K, do not and when I say do not, do not accept less than three hundred dollars for a week video. You see a time, you see the fact that you're black, because we're the only one that can do the reviews. The fact that your your time, you're black, the fact that you have to sit on an edit. If you if you drive, you have to pay a taxi fee, go go install the wig. You have to pay the agents of the install the wig. If you're gifted though and you're doing all that by yourself, kudos to you, but your time, Pookie, your time, you could have used your time at the summer end. You could have used it to create content, you could have used it to go at work. So you charge for your time. So once you're under 10K, maybe you believe enough to charge us on three bills. Once you're over 10K, like you're there, 10K and higher, but less than 20, you take your five bills. Because that's what the girl is prior to us were getting, you know. But it's because the market is so saturated with Amazon wig reviewers where they are more interested in just getting the free wig than the care. Then tell them, um, 
Amazon, Amazon with review post social media posts and they say okay for me once you send me social media posts I tell you from the jump I'm like hey that comes with a fee are you willing to pay that fee only for them tell me no because uh, the girl is them where Amazon will review they might do it for free why are you gonna pay me when they might do it for free and as I told you guys it's quantity for them over quality it's quantity for them over quality. So, they might have 10 little influencers, but they must say, probably put on a wig, lean on them, and probably put on a wig, don't you? So, but they know that persons are seeing it and it's being in the eyes of others so they can get sale. It's a part of marketing. They really don't care if the wig puts on good by your head. I must want to say, okay, she come and she's sitting and she's. So, this is the wig. I love the wig. Then, must want to say, I do all of that. You get what I say? Yes. So, you have to negotiate with them. A lot of them, as I tell them, because they're used to the Amazon big reviewers, they will not charge them. They are like, okay, fine, I don't need you. But you don't feel any way pookie. You don't feel any way because what? The person that is going to go ahead and when you get in your price, they must say, okay, check your PayPal. That person will come that person will come you will no longer have people that will lowball you and be like um i only have 50 dollars that person has ever said i'm only 50 for the two tick up i said to them sweetheart this is my rate and i told them my rate and they're like it's too high i said okay no problem have a good one and send a smiling emoji and email me back and they're like um my manager said we can give you x for and then this back the same thing and i'm like you just discounted my rate that I told you and it's per video, it's not for everything. And she said, too expensive, buy there. And I said, have a good one. Cause the time will come where persons just ask for a favor and just send you the money. Cause they see that you're putting in the work. Every day you upload a week video. Every day you show people bundles. Yeah, make them not say, hey, this is where you get the get the good wig. This is where the plug is at them something you know once you're putting in the work and your quality is good persons will not lowball you so as i told you guys you negotiate your prices with them when you become a paid we influence you tell them like hey what's your budget for your campaign okay that's your budget this is my rate and then you guys proceed from the chat if them don't no want to stoop to where you are tell them i don't think where you are say too high you leave them because the person that is interested in you will definitely stop at your foot and pay you in no time and then when you negotiate with them you always ensure that okay let's say they gave you a curly wig they only charged you for you only charge them for one video but remember you know, you're a wig influencer they only paid you for one video you can go ahead one day and be like but come to a day in my life. Listen, I was so over it today. I really wanted my hair to look fine. But I just could not. So what did I do? I just grabbed on a wig. I ain't no mention nothing about the wig. You hear me say? I ain't no mention nothing. I ain't no call the wig near nothing. But you make sure so the wig look good. So personally, come and be like, girl, I don't care about your day. What wig is that? That is influencing. And they just come and say, tell them my name. And they say, oh, you could check my link in bio. Because they like when you put the link in bio. Yeah. Oh, you just check my link in bio and it's there you're a good girl like and it's low low no shedding they get me that's how you influence so you know just check the wig and you just okay they paid me for just that one video i'm just gonna do that one video call it a day remember it's a job the girlies they make it seem easy they make it seem like oh just post one week video with this call it a day no because so remember when you just started it's not going to constantly come to you it's not going to constantly come because you're new you're a newbie on the block so you have to go recycle some of the week them some of the week them you have to go refurbish them and sell them i strongly don't believe in if my wear a wig mother sell it back but persons do that because they have to install me so probably in the future where i have to constantly install me that back to back i probably have to go do that but for me personally I don't like it. I'd rather to sell you my Amazon wigs versus the ones that they're paying me to put on. Because really and truly, it's 100% profit because it, it makes me never pay nothing about customs. And as I tell you, my customs agent to them not charge that much. And then, to me, it's 100% profit if I'm being honest. So, that's it for me. Like, you negotiate, you continuously post your content, 
you ensure that in your bio you put big influencer for me personally you will not see that in my bio because that's not my main focus my main focus once you go on my channel is pretty pretty much there it is lifestyle and food coming and eat lifestyle so it's lifestyle and business so i'm more of a lifestyle content creator so i show you my day-to-day -day life I go ahead get my hair done and do my nails. Those are those probably come out in beauty, but for me I'm not much in the beauty industry because I don't do makeup. I don't sit down and do I do it yourself hairstyles. I don't consider myself a part of the beauty industry. I consider myself more of a lifestyle and business industry. Because I'm a business owner and I be posting business stuff. So I just said, okay, business and lifestyle bringing you guys into my life so you guys can understand me from a lifestyle perspective. Understand? So you have to put in a bio what's your niche. If you don't figure out your niche booby, that's fine. You can just simply put influencer. Big influencer. Um and don't be afraid or don't feel away when persons that you know directly see so you start being an influencer era. Cause you see when somebody run you know you and you're evolving and you're doing something that everyone else is doing do not look for the support from them be prepared to hear nasty stuff as well but always keep a tunnel vision you know what is going to be at the end of the tunnel you know what you're working towards because persons would literally say what's your goal like we influence or who should influence them love put an influence on them themselves yeah the girl on am tiktok love to that instead of uplifting each other and be like okay girl i see you yeah i want to look a shanzi must see you, yeah, your next look up. and you know like everybody can be a shiny see everybody can be one of them um influencer girl there it's just that people don't give people enough grace so they don't give them um the time to identify themselves because some people will come out and be, they'll try to be a shanty too much and when we say too much meaning that hey guys so today i'm gonna get veneers and this is how find your own personality like me i'm very homeopathy i'm very classy but a mix of patois so even i'm speaking on camera or doing a voiceover you get a little so today we're going to try a restaurant i must say people the food nice it's the ambience of the place it's immaculate you see how the divers at like the english classy stuff and then but just touch a little piece of our different audience when I say people food night. So even if the the three seconds in the video like, oh my god, this girl probably so nine, I'm gonna grab your back. Come say people the food nice. So people get that little twist You know you get me? Yeah. Yeah. My biggest admiration in the field is Tanania. I love her drive for work. I love how she have a tunnel vision. She not care when nobody say. No matter say, oh, turn in a camp, put on the wig. I will say it how much, how much time. Turn in, I go sit on in front of the camera. And she go put on the wig. And she go angle her wig. Right? Right. So when you decide that you're going to really embark this journey of becoming a paid wig influencer, be prepared for the critiques. Be prepared for people to say, your wig don't look good by your head. You waste the people them free wig. Most of me have the opportunity to say, you waste the wig keep that tunnel vision because they still their negative words bring numbers and what the brand want numbers right right so have to keep the tunnel vision keep it keep it going keep it going so once you do that keep your tunnel vision ensure that you remember what your ultimate goal is so at the end of 2024 you can say okay i wanted to become a wig influencer i tried it for three months it's not really my cup of tea but the greatest thing i was a wig influencer so some persons are not in it for the long run, some in it for the short run. It doesn't really matter where in the run you're on. Once you know that, okay, I wanted to do this, I did it. I liked it. I continue. I did it, I don't like it. So I pause and I recoup and I come again. It's just a trial and error with this content creating thing, especially when you're sticking to a niche that is so saturated. Persons already have an idea of how they want a niche. Look as well. So it's, I know that it can be a little bit difficult. But just watch the video over again if you realize it's not working for you and see how best it can work for you. So with that being said, I hope that you guys love this video. Comment down below if you're an Amazon Wig Reviewer and comment your biggest challenge 
how you get scared, make and tell me down in the local comment section. And we can have a little dialogue as a community. So remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, follow me on all socials at underscore Kimber.o underscore. And once again, Happy New Year!